The Rose Canyon earthquake fault has long been considered a risk factor. It starts near Silver Strand State Beach, runs under the Coronado Bridge, through downtown, along the I-5, past my location here at Mount Soledad, then shoots slightly offshore as it continues north. And then it runs parallel the shoreline till Newport Beach, where it steps onshore and goes into the L.A. Basin. The Rose Canyon and Newport Inglewood faults had been considered separate systems, but geology and geophysics professor Neil Driscoll with Scripps Institution of Oceanography says they're actually one continuous strike-slip fault made of four sections. He recently mapped the seafloor and the layers beneath the seafloor to study previous ruptures. We've spent over 100 days out at sea, plus working in this region for the last decade or so. We've mapped this fault at different scales. We've mapped it at high resolution in the upper part. We've mapped it in lower resolution in the deeper part. Driscoll says the fault sections are connected by what are called stepovers, points where the fault is horizontally offset. And so what could happen is that the segments offshore, because the stepovers are small, that it could rupture end to end in the offshore segments. An offshore rupture could generate a magnitude 7.3 quake, while a land-based break could unleash a 7.4. Driscoll says both the southern and northern land portions of the fault system have previously ruptured. The last major quake on the Rose Canyon portion occurred more than 350 years ago. But the middle segments offshore haven't ruptured in the last 10 to 13,000 years before present. Driscoll says to get an idea of the impact of a magnitude 7.3 tumbler, just go back to Easter of 2010, when a magnitude 7.2 struck near the border. It was 65 miles south of San Diego. But most San Diegans will remember that day because there was a lot of ground motion here. So that gives you some kind of estimate. If we're closer, the ground motion gets larger and a magnitude 7.3 would be a significant, a significant event here. This latest study is a good reminder to be prepared for an earthquake by having a three-day supply of food and water, a first aid kit, and a family communication plan. Reporting from Mount Soledad, Susan Murphy, KPBS News.